Hi, my name is Mihun Luz. Today, I'm going to show you how to assemble an industrial hose with a group fur. First thing is hose selection. So we have to choose the hose you want to crimp later on. I'm going to use tubes 2116 hose. This hose is widely used for cleaning floors and industrial equipment with hot water. The hose is made from two layers of EPDM rubber and polyester braid. The next thing to do is selecting the right fitting. The corrugation of the fitting must be accurately shaped and there must be a lock on the hose tag. I'm going to use a standard hydraulic fitting marked with TIZ code according to tubes catalog. After the fitting is selected, we have to match it with the right ferrule. The ferrule I have chosen is made by machining and has a collar at the front mating the lock of the hose tag. On the inner side, there are properly shaped corrugation which compress the hose but do not cut it. For the video, I am going to use TIL ferrule according to tubes catalog. When you are selecting the fitting in the fur, you must check a couple of things. First, the outer diameter of the hose tail must be the same as the inner diameter of the hose. The inner diameter of the fur must allow sliding it easily. Next, check if the diameter of the shoulder in the fur allows the color of the fitting through. The length of the fur must not be more than the length of the fitting. The dimension of the shoulder in the ferrule must allow interlocking into the groove behind the collar of the fitting. Once we have measured the required length, we cut the hose square. If we use suction delivery hoses with the helix, we have to cut the helix wire with pliers and remove the rest of it. Whereas, when we use hoses with anti-static wire, we simply insert the wire inside the hoses to make it electrically conductive. Now we slide the ferrule onto the hose Line the fitting and push it into the hose. We start with initial crimping to reduce the clearance between the hose and the ferrule. So now, we have to find a difference between the inner diameter of the ferrule and the outer diameter of the hose. In this case, we take 2 mm from the outer diameter of the ferrule. This is the setting for the initial crimping. Once crimped to that specific diameter, the fur doesn't move. Now we make the final crimp. 